This car is just becoming a public nuisance. For six months, a public nuisance. Tony Johnson has stepped outside his door to this. Yes, there's two. That one, this one. There's two cars sitting there. Abandoned cars. Two. And I've called on each of them. As you see, they took the wheels off both of them. Stripped down to the studs right in front of his home. It had a hood, it had a whole engine and four tires. Not anymore. Doesn't have a bumper either. And Johnson isn't alone. Across the city, hundreds of smashed up cars and dumped in neighborhoods with little action. I just want the city to do anything. Just get it out of here. Give us a chance. We got enough abandoned properties to deal with. We don't need abandoned cars. Now, just down the road, we found another four cars stacked up and abandoned all in a row like this. Some with damage, some without, but a nuisance nonetheless. It's bad for the cleanliness of our city, and it's just a bad look overall. That's prompted City Councilman Zeke Cohen to co-sponsor legislation to create a council work group and study how to get rid of the cars while holding those dumping them accountable. What are some of the best practices so that we can get those cars effectively towed so that we're not playing a cat and mouse game. But for many, it's turned into a waiting game. You call and call and call to no avail. As more and more cars get dumped by the day. I don't know what we're supposed to do, and I'm hoping that this will get some kind of reaction from the city.